All right, well, once again, it seems to be a daily occurrence anymore. Once again, people are telling me the Dortal Cordal and Octortal were interesting, and I should look at all three, so I'm going to do that. Now, um, today is puzzle number 333 for these puzzles, so I'm going to start with three. It seems only appropriate, so three. Okay, all we got was an E, so that was not great. Um, ah, I'd like to use an E in another spot. It's not fourth or fifth here so I mean second or third would be good we want to use some other letters um, my first thought is something like le lease or least but we don't want to do an E at the end and we don't want to do a uh, leash no there's no H <laughs> um, we could do leaps that's not too bad or leafs or leaks not the K a P or an F uh, leans leans is better the end let's go with leans Okay, good, there was an N here. So, the E... We're still not finding the E here. It's gotta be first or third. There's only one E in both words, we know that. Okay, so the N and the L... Uh, I want to do the N and the L again, and the E in another spot. Maybe something L-E-N? No, not the N there. We want to do the N in a different spot. <laughs> Maybe N-E-L. Um, something like... Knelt, but we don't want to do the T. Um, you know what we could do? Oh, but there's- I was gonna say we could do Noel's, but we don't want to do the S, but that would work well. Uh, check another letter. Um, I'm thinking about doing that even though we know there's no S, because it's appropriate for the season, too. I'm gonna do Noel's. Okay. That was not great. But, we now know where the E is here. It's definitely at the beginning, and there is an O and an L, so... E... e oh, something like elope is what I'm thinking, but there's no E at the end. Elo, elo, what? I don't know. Otherwise, it could be something. Uh, ooh, uh, ooh, I was gonna say extol, but there's no T. But E something something O L isn't too bad. What would that be? Yeah, I don't know. I'm not thinking of anything there. So let's let's come over here. All we've got is the N and the E. I feel like the N second is pretty good. Um, now, interestingly, we've only got uh, the one E, so there's gotta be another vowel, which has gotta be a U or an I. Uh, what about I N something? In, in what? In, ooh, I don't know. In, in, in Bu? I don't think is no, it's imbu. Yeah, imbu. In, we could have a double N. But in in something U E or in something I E in or U N we could have U uh un, untie but there's no T. So if it's not I N or U N, could the N be second? Because we don't have an S. Oh K N. Uh oh knife 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 would work. Let's do knife. Oh it's not knife. Shoot and there's no I ah. Okay, so I think it's gotta be un something because what else could come at the beginning before the N? G N maybe? I mean there's a few words that start with G N, but Oh, undo, undo! Yes, like undo influence. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. We've had that word before. Okay. And we still don't know what's going on on the right. So the E is at the beginning. Could it be E L? Can't be elope though. Elbow, elbow. Okay, elbow. There we go. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. I kept trying to do E L O. I think was the problem. Anyways, all right. Undo and elbow. All right, we're gonna move on to the cordal. Um, I don't know if that's gonna be a great start, but we're gonna do it anyways. So, all right. Undo and L. Oh, what? Okay, I wasn't expecting that. All right, well, maybe that's why people are saying this one's interesting. Um, <laughs> okay, so, well, that was good. That was really good. Now, this this word here, not so good, but we've already got a word, so. And this one, okay, all we've got is the U-E there. There's a U and an L. We don't know where the U is up here, but we've eliminated two spots. Uh, so, I feel like it might be good to do, like, stare and just get five new letters in here. Okay, uh, we got the R-N-A, the U-L-A, so U-L-A up there. Unfortunately, the U-L and A, you know, we already have the A here, we already have the U here, there's no L. 
So redoing a, another word, you know, a word with those in new spots isn't gonna help us with the other ones, but maybe we can do those letters in new spots in two new letters. That might work, because I just don't really have much to go off of here. You know what would be really interesting for this one? Is Q. Which is possible. Oh! No, I, I wasn't even looking. We have two U's. So Q is definitely possible. Uh, hmm. That does check a new spot for the U up here. I, I'm gonna go for Q. I think, uh, normally I wouldn't jump to Q, but I like that, I like it. Oh, it's not Q, ugh. All right, that's okay, that's okay, because we got one right at the start here, so. And we found the U here, so that wasn't a complete loss. All right. Uh, um, so what's this gonna be then? Fugue? Fugue would be interesting. Ah, oh, Fugue is good, but now I'm, now I'm a little gun shy after guessing Q and it being wrong. So, let's try something that has an F or a G, which will help confirm if that's possible. Um, the L up here at the beginning, maybe? I think that's pretty good. Something like this. Like, uh, what would that be, though? Or it could be uh, like this with an A-L. Pupil. Pupil with a double P would work. This one here, I feel like AR could be good. We could do ARG or ARM. Ooh, charm. Charm isn't bad, and that's three new letters. Um, but it doesn't help us too much with these other ones, I don't think. What about, ooh, ooh, okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do graph, because I think that's pretty good too. That's just as good as charm, really. Uh, there's lots of things this could be, I think. But that will check the G here, the P up here, for possibly fugue or pupil. I'm sure there's other things those could be. And some new letters, uh, G, P, and H are all new letters. We'll check for the R. Um, yeah, let's go with that. Okay, it was graph. Yes, all right. Uh, this, I think this could be pupil. And I think it could be fugue. I'm gonna try pupil. It's 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 new two new spots for the P. Now that we know there is a P, I'm just gonna go for it. It's pupil, and I think this is gonna be fugue. Wow. Okay, that was awesome. That was really good. Uh, I know there was lots of other possibilities. I know I'm gonna have lots of comments. You didn't consider this word. It could have been that because I always get those. But uh, wow. Okay. So, moving on to the Octortal. Pupil, Undo, Fugue, and Graph, which is not gonna be a good start on the Octortal with all those U's. Uh, but we're just gonna do it anyways. All right, here we go. Pupil, Undo, Fugue, and Graph. Okay, terrible start. I'm not expecting to actually win this Octortal. Um, but we'll see what we can do. So, <laughs> we checked lots of U's. Lots of use. Unfortunately, some of them were in the same spot. So, uh, so this one here, there's got to be a U, third or fifth, and there's a D and an L. Uh, so, what could it be? Um, something like this. Uh, now, there's no E or A, which is interesting. So... Ooh, uh, fluid would be interesting. Oh, but there's no F. Okay, so not fluid. Um, interesting. Could it be something U-L-D? You know, I would say something like build, but the U can't be second. So, U-I-L? Or we could have OU. OU is good. Something like this, like mold. Mold? Mold is pretty good there. Uh, I'm definitely not ready to guess that, but that's pretty good. I like mold there as a possibility. And here, I mean, I gotta think ING, right? I mean, it, it might not be, but I have to kind of assume ING. Something like swing would work. I like swing there, I like mold here. 
don't really have much to go on elsewhere. Look, we've got five words with an E, and none of them have the E at the end. Now this one's interesting, because we have the A-L in green, so, you know, my thought is something like this. Like, metal. Metal's pretty good. I like metal there. So I've got two words that I think could start with M. Um, you know, we could do moist. That's five new letters. Um, S and T are good letters. It gets the other two vowels besides Y. Uh, I, I've got two words that I think could have an M. I, I think that's pretty good, actually. I'm liking that. I'm liking that. Um, because this could also be sting as an addition to swing. If we get the S and not the T, and the I is there, I think sting's pretty... Or swing would be good. Sting would be good if we get the S-T, obviously. I'm gonna go with moist. Okay, so it's not it's not swing or sting or any of those. It's um, ooh. So if it is ing, then it's got to have o something ing. Owing, owing, owing is really good there. I like owing. Um, this is steel. I think. I think it's steel. We've got s t and e. What else could it be? Um, so let's let's assume the e is second or the e is third, right? It's either steel or to seal, which is not a thing. So if the E is third, it's steel. If the E is second, it would have to be like setol, which apparently is a word. Cetal? Um, or tessel. Cetal is a word. Oh. I'm definitely not guessing that over steel. Um, otherwise, etzel is not a word, and estol is not a word. No. So I think it's going to be steel. Cetal is apparently a word. I don't know what that means. Okay, <laughs> I think it's all about. My whole computer just crashed. I don't know. I guess uh, the octortal was too difficult for it. Um, I've got everything back up. Uh, it, it had saved, you know, the site refreshes where you left off. So I think I'm good. Um, I don't know what happened, but the whole thing went down. But it's working now, I think. So, anyways, while it was loading back up, I looked up Cetal or Settle. Um, and apparently it's like a building wing or dependency set apart and adapted for lodging and feeding animals. Like It's like a stable. It's another word for a stable. Um, which makes me more inclined to guess it because it's almost Christmas and stable. But I'm definitely thinking steel over cedal. Now, we can, we can, we don't necessarily have to guess this word next. So, ooh, we did get the M here. So, oh, I was thinking metal, but there's no T. Ooh, oh, and the A isn't there. Oh, the, uh, oh, and the M isn't at the beginning. Okay, <laughs> let's 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 be smart about this. So, uh, okay, so it could be A M something E L, but what would that be? Am ample is P well, we don't amble is L E, not E L. Yeah, so I don't like that. Um, could it be E A? M something, but then it would have to be another E probably. I don't like that either. So something. A oh, camel, camel, camel's really good. These aren't all gonna be Christmas-related things, are they? It's. It feels like that wouldn't be today. That would be like tomorrow or the next day. That's probably just a coincidence. <laughs> it's probably steel, but camel, camel is good. Um. What, what's going on over here? We got the O. I was thinking O-U. I was thinking mold. Uh, but it's not an M. Okay, so it's not an M. So... Oh, could! Could! It could be... So, again, pronunciation is the issue, because once I had mold in my head, I was thinking old, and I was doing wold, cold, but it could be could. It could be wood. Could and wood. Okay. Uh, I think those are both really good there. I like camel, and it does help us with could versus would. I like steel here, but cetal or setol or whatever apparently is possible. Um, I don't know what's going- owing, owing over here, I'm thinking, which also would help with would versus could with the W. So the question is, which one am I the most confident in? At this point, I'm leaning towards camel. 
because we know the A is first or second, right? And if the A is first, I don't like AM, and it's not gonna be AE. I feel like it's gotta be, and it's not gonna be ML, so the M would have to be third, and I don't, I don't, I don't see anything there, and so I don't think the A is first. <laughs> And if the A is second, then we have either EA, which doesn't, I don't think works. Because again, the e M is going to have to be third. So then it's EA and then either EM or ME. Yeah, I think, I think Camel is really good. I'm going to go with Camel. It was Camel. Yes. And this is could. This is could. It's CO and then we have to have a U, L, and D. I, I think it's got to be could. Okay. It's could. This, oh, unfortunately, we haven't guessed a W to know if this is owing. Okay. Uh, there is an I in this one, and EL. Okay, we've got the EL now, so I'm kind of thinking something like this. But what would that be? I don't know. Uh, pixel. Pixel. No, there's no P. Hmm, it could be I at the beginning. But I still don't know, uh, you know, like impel or something, but... Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. And this, I'm still thinking steel. Um, here, I mean, we just don't have much. We've got three of the letters, but we don't know where any of them are, and that's... That makes it really tough. Now, the A is either at the beginning or the end, so... So, maybe we have more than I think. Because A at the beginning, what would this be? Ooh, now if we do A at the beginning, the E either has to be second or third. I don't really like A, E. And the R can't be there, so it would have to be something like this, or the R could be at the end uh, of, 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 oh, uh, mm, I was gonna say avert, but there's no T. Now we could have an A at the beginning and the end. But I don't really like that either. Uh, we do have a Y. We do have a Y. We haven't done a Y yet. A Avery. No. A fear. A weird. A. Uh. And we can't do. Okay, so maybe not the A at the beginning. Let's do the A at the end. So we could start with E. We could have the E second. We could do like something like this. Um, re, re what, re what, I don't know, or the R could be here, or right before the A, I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not coming up with anything there. We could even have a double E potentially, something like this. But I still don't know what that would be. Okay, so don't know. Thinking steel. Don't know. This. Ah, oh, no. This is interesting. So we've got an I and an H. Now the H. The H. We can't put with. T or an S or a C or a P, we could do a WH, but if we do that, then the I has to be at the end, and I, I don't, I don't like that. So, what about hilly? I like hilly there. Um, you know, I don't, I don't like uh, the I at the end unless it was like chilly or something, but it can't be chilly because there's no C and the I can't be third. Um, if we, so. We only have I and maybe Y for vowels, right? So if you do the I at the end, you've got to almost have another I. I don't like that. And so I think the I second is the most likely place. And now the H is not, it's not going to be I, H, L. I think, I think H, I, I think Hilly is pretty good. I really like Hilly there. That's my, right now I'm thinking Hilly or Steel are the ones I'm going to guess. We do have a C here. Now this could be something ECT. Um, but what would that be? You know, given the letters we have left, I don't I don't like any of those. 
Um, or EC something T, but then again, what well, you could have, have to have. No, because we just don't have very many vowels, unless you're going to use a Y. Nope, don't like that. So I'm thinking owing here. I'm thinking hilly here. And steel here. Unfortunately, none of those are going to help with the other ones. Hilly doesn't help us with owing or steel. None of those three are going to help us with the other ones unless we happen to get something we're not expecting. Uh, now, hilly might help over here because we can figure out if the I is second. Which one am I most confident in is the question. All right, I th I'm actually thinking about going with owing. I really think that's gonna be correct. I just, I can't think of what else it could be. Maybe it's because I'm just too locked in on the ING, but okay, it was owing. Good. Um, now I'm gonna go with hilly next. I think that's really good too. And it'll check for a Y for the other words. It'll also check the spot for the I here. Okay, it's hilly. That is where the, ooh, and there's two L's. Okay, oh, so there's an L at the beginning. Oh, libel, libel. Libel, okay. That was really good because I was not thinking about libel at all. So Hilly really helped with libel. And, ooh, we got a B. We got a B here. So this, ooh, interesting. So, ah, A, uh, the, mm. <laughs> the E has to be one of the first two. A is at the beginning or the end. So if the E was early on, it would have to be E something B. It couldn't be the A or the R, and then it would have to be a R or no, it'd have to be R A. Oh, zebra, zebra! It's gonna be zebra or zebra if you prefer. I think it's gonna be zebra, zebra. Yep, there we go. All right. Oh, uh, I think. Sorry, I'm, I'm I'm getting too excited and forgetting to adjust the the screen so you can see my guesses here. There we go. Okay. Hopefully you didn't miss anything there. Anyways, uh, all right, so, I mean, we're down to two words and two guesses. I thought for sure we were gonna lose this. We still could. And this, that fixed, Zebra fixed this. This is steel now. It can't be, uh, Seedle or Settle or whatever because of the E. So this is steel. This is steel. Yeah, it's steel. <laughs> awesome. Okay, we got one left. Uh, I'm still thinking ECT, but what would this, what would it be? We don't have hardly any letters left. So it's either something C-E, something T, and here's the problem. So we can't put an E between the E and the T, right? So, and there's no other vowels. We don't have an A, we don't have a Y. Like, what's gonna come between the E and the T? X? V, K, J, Q, none of the letters work. You could do a double T potentially, but I don't, I don't like that. So I think the C has to be over here. So now what's gonna work at the beginning? We could have another E potentially, if it was first, but you know, something like erect, but, oh, eject, eject. I can't type. Eject. It's gonna be eject, I think. Okay, let's try eject. Yes! <laughs> Alright. Wow, I thought for sure there was no chance of getting the octortal with that start. Um, but Graph got us just enough information and then we made the right guesses. Um, so I think, uh, let me know if well, we did Graph and moist. Oh no, graph was one of our, it was moist that was the good one. Yeah, moist was the one that got us the information. So let me know if, so camel I think kicked off a lot there because of the C and ruling out the M. So camel was the big one I think. Um, let me know if there was something else there that it could have been at that point because I felt like it had to be camel but um, there could have been something else there. So. Anyways, very interesting with the Z and the J, and yeah, and with that start, it was very tricky. So, 
Anyways, let me know how you did with these Dordal, Cordal, and Octordal number 333 today. Um, and which word was the hardest for you? And be sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon with some more puzzles. And it just told me that the page has become unresponsive, because my computer is possessed today, apparently. <laughs> I don't know. Here's an interesting question. Which song has spent the most time at number two on the Billboard Top 100? Without oh, okay. making it oh, to number Oh, that was really one. good. On the left. Awesome. Ballet over here. Okay, it is L and T, just like I was thinking. Now, Alf alphabet. Alphabet. There we go. That's a good one.